Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to use a Droyo to create an Enemy Relationship Diagram or ERD. Let's begin. Creating an Enemy Relationship Diagram or ERD in Droyo is a simple process. All you have to do is to click on the Start button. You would be forwarded in this section we're in. You need to choose where do you want to save your diagrams later is it going to be the cloud storage options which are google drive onedrive dropbox github or gitlab you can also choose your device which means your computer or pc or if you want to decide later click this button and then you will be forwarded to this section wherein you just have to create or click they create new diagram but if you wanted to open an existing diagram you're welcome to do that especially if you're working with a client that already has an existing diagram which is an erd but if you don't if you want to cr create something new click this button right here you would be forwarded wherein you can choose from any of the following options you can rename this you see an entity diagram is basically a visual representation of the relationships between entities like objects or concepts within a system okay so it's commonly used in database design to illustrate how data is organized and how different data elements are related to one another so here you can choose from any of the following but you have an option for the entity relationship diagram all right you will have an example here but if you want to go to the smart template right here you see you can type in and any relationship diagram the difference is that you can choose from any of the following all right you see this if you click the generate button you would be forwarded here right it can give you more complex concepts for the workshop or workflow instead of the basic option earlier if you want to use this just click the create button then all i have to do is follow the on-screen instructions now once it's loaded you would notice that you would have the key components of an erd which is going to be the enemies all right for example these are going to be the objects people or concepts or events that have data stored about them they're typically represented by rect rectangles right here all right for example is it going to be a customer product and a lot more the attributes these are going to be the properties or characteristics of an entity they describe the details of an entity for example customer id right name and address and of course their relationship which shows how entities are related to each other they're typically represented by diamonds or maybe an arrow of an erd all right now the cardinality defines the number of instances of one entity that can be or must be associated with each instance of another entity all right so for example it has like a shipment date customer name and one too many right and of course from here you can add more elements along the way just go to the upper right section wherein you can have the full screen right here all right now once you do that, you would have access to the search shapes option on the upper left corner. And from here, you can add entities like tables. So let's try to in type in table, press enter. Maybe we're going to select a basic table right here. For example, this. I'm going to drag it here. All right. So I'm going to add this. Make a little bit smaller right here. So we have this. All right. I'm going to make it. You can make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see the functionality. I'm gonna make it right just right here. All right. So that's that. Matter of fact, here when you go to the upper right corner, if you can't find the format panel, just go to the view section. There is an option here that says format. All right. Because in the format section, you can customize the fill color. For example, this. You can choose from any of the following options for example you wanted some orange type of diagram you can do that especially here you can put in here same here maybe like a light blue an option and this is going to be like deep and less you can customize the way it is presented you can make it bold make it bigger where you guys can see it
choose a different color maybe maybe like our uh, like this you can matter of fact copy this and just rename it this one right here and then I'm, I'm add more interactive image from the import option go to my device now I'm a uh, rescale the picture so it can fit to our diagram at the bottom and from here I'm going to add more elements along the way just like this one right here Now I'm going to add more to make it a little bit interactive. Kind of like this. Go to advance. You can also go to the enemy relationship right here if you wanted to add more. Right, for example, this. Add more something like this. Once you are happy with the and any relationship diagram that you have created, I want you to go to the upper left corner where you can see the file section. I want you to save. Draw you automatically saves your work, but it pays to check. Just want to make sure that you have the updated file. And from there, you might want to go again to the export button. If you want to export this and any relationship diagram or ERD that you have created, you have all these options. You can export as PNG, JPEG, WebP, and SVG. If you click on the M. PNG you have an option to zoom out and put in a border width if you wanted you can choose from the following is it going to be a selection only diagram or the whole page you can also include a transparent background appearance is going to be light or dark you can add in a shadow or grid and click the export button in the exporting button you have an option to save it to your cloud storage options where you have Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, GitHub, and GitLab. Or if you want to save it to your computer, just click the download button. Click on save. And then if you want to embed this diagram to your website, such as Squarespace or WordPress or uh, Shopify, click the publish option. There's going to be a link right here. If you click on the create, this is going to be the embedded link code. You can preview that if you wanted, just to make sure you have the uh, ERD correctly. And then while at it, you can click the print button wherein you can print this as a printed material to present it to your team meeting if you want it. All right. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.